And then one guy said, you're letting the pig Jewess talk to you. And he went clonk, he hits me because I'm Jewish. My name is Fumi Abari, hello. And my name is Ruth Schneider. So before the Holocaust, did everyone get along? And before the Nazis came into power? Yes, my darling. Were Jews accepted? I never felt any anti-Semitism, whether it was in the school or on, in the street before Hitler came. While you were in Vienna, did anyone ever show anti-Semitism towards you directly? A boy across the road, who was a year and a half older than I was, we played together and I really loved him. His name was Rudy. When Hitler came, he was, I was 15 and he was about 16 and a half, and he went into the Hitler Youth. I was walking along the street and I saw him in uniform with his friends, uh, all Hitler Youth. And I said to him, oh, Rudy, don't you look gorgeous? And then one guy said, you're letting that pig Jewess talk to you? And he went clonk, and he broke the tooth here. I had to have a false one put in because it was broken. He hits me because I'm Jewish. I was a pig Jewish, and I wasn't allowed to speak to a Hitler youth. A Nazi supporter saved you and your family. That's right. All the Jewish organizations were infiltrated by Nazis. They were usually secretaries and so on. My father belonged to the Zionist organization and the secretary, uh, who was the infiltrator, she told him, Meisels, get out of here, you're down for arrest on the 9th of May. So the funny thing is that we were saved by a Nazi out to get away from the Nazis. Could you describe your journey to London and what happened when you first arrived here? We flew over which was very unusual in 1938. My mother had thrown away the Polish passports because she hated Poland. When we got here, Churchill had decided to intern all aliens. An alien is somebody who is not a British subject. So we were enemy aliens, like Germans and all that sort of thing. But Mama and I, were arrested and they took me to Holloway Prison. We were locked up for 23 hours a day, except for half an hour when we had sort of exercise and we walked around. Mama was on the bed and I was on the floor on a mattress. But the one thing is we had to use the same bucket, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking yeah. about. That was the only thing which I, I resent. It wasn't a bad experience, I learned a lot. How fortunate do you feel to have escaped Nazi territory? I'd won the world. I was alive. I just felt wonderful and I always felt that I wanted to do something to return the kindness that England had shown me. Country leaders, they all promised and swore that nothing like the Holocaust will happen again. Do you think that they kept their promise even with the genocide in Rwanda? Look what's going on now. The same sort of thing is going on and nothing is happening. People haven't learned. They don't think they're doing anything wrong. But just like Hitler didn't think you did anything wrong. If I knew how to change it, I'd have been in the government and telling them what to do. There are times when I do want to tell, tell the government, but they don't listen to us. History is a strange thing. You forget about various things, but this ought to be remembered. I don't know how much longer I'm going to be around, but I hope to hear somewhere, the, sometime, that things have changed.